We may want to put it up in the corner at some point. Okay, okay started. Hi, welcome to Parental Roll, um, our ongoing campaign of D&D around our table, which um, we're mostly doing because I'm sick of playing online and I want to play or actually around a table. And we're a family, so we can do that. That's allowed. Um, I'm Phil. I'll be the DM. I'm Rebecca. I am Lewis. I'm Trish. Sarah. Sam. You're okay. supposed to look at the camera when you say that, Sam. <laughs> so, uh, when last we played, um, you guys were all on a ship that was headed towards Fortin. Um, and you're all on ships for different reasons that we established during your character generation. Uh, there was a mild crisis, and you found yourselves in a part of the ship that uh, no one really had access to. And in there, you found a mysterious elf who um, was sitting in, on, on like a throne made of, of crates and boxes. And, um, and while you guys were having a conversation, and the ship was being attacked, and some crabs busted in, and you guys killed them all. <laughs> now, one of the things we forgot to do last time is have you guys describe yourselves to each other. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So one's... now that you have a breath after the fight, um, who, who wants to go first? We should go around like me. Yeah. All right, me. Yeah. Okay. So, gadget is um, she's wearing like. She's very steampunk. She has red hair that has like bangs here, but it also is put up in a ponytail in the back. Mm -hmm. And the very edges of her bangs are yellow, uh, not yellow, blonde, because they've been singed from ex they've been bleached from experiments. Um, and she has like these are goggles, right? She has goggles on her on her head. Um, goggles. <laughs> <laughs> um, what color eyes did I say she has? Does it say here? It should. She has greeny yellow eyes. Mm -hmm. um, Where's she? She has like she has like a white blouse with like a corset kind of steampunky look, but she's not wearing a skirt. She's wearing like she she uh, she has like a white blouse jumpsuit kind of thing with a corset. That's what her outfits are. Kind of like overalls. No. It's not like a More stylish than overalls, Dad. Yes. Um, and she is she is leather boots and lots of little pouches and stuff for all her gadgets and stuff. Yes. Okay. So I am a bard who has my a pouch for my flute. And you said you were an asthmer. What else yes. do we know about your looks? I have a gray coat. And my skin color is tinted green. Mm -hmm. I have um, red hair and gray eyes. Alright. Are you carrying, are you wearing armor or are you carrying any kind of a weapon? I. Yeah, you, and you need to talk about what you're carrying too. Well, oh, my, I don't have a weapon, I just use my flute. You have a rapier and yeah. a dagger, but you don't use them right off. I don't use them. Okay. I have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I have a gun. You yeah. happy with that? Yes. Uh, you need to remember when you're using your red bullets that you use your um, magic hit. Yeah, I know. Okay. I did that last time. Good. All right. So I am a blonde wood elf. Um, with blue eyes, I'm really tall, I have tan skin, and I'm wearing a white um, blouse with a captain, not a, like a, a captain's jacket over top of it with buttons down the front and everything, but it's sleeveless, so it's more like a vest, but it's long, comes down almost to my knees, and then I have, and it's got like gold embroidery all over it, and then I have, um, boots as well. And I have, um, you saw me fighting with swords, short swords, two short swords, but you don't see them anymore. They sort of have, have vanished from sight. 
and I have a tattoo of each arm that's um, sort of half covered by the sleeves, a full sleeve tattoo up each arm. Okay, um, me, oh, yeah. I forgot to mention that I am very short because I am a gnome. You are a gnome. I am <laughs> Eric Tella. So I am a bird. Mm -hmm. Which means I don't have, I, well, I have skin color, but nobody ever sees it. Or, and I don't have hair. I have feathers. I am an eagle. And I am currently wearing this one cloak. Thing. One thing. She isn't a dog eagle. She is a bird. You're not a dog, eagle. you're a bird. Yeah, oh, eagle, eagle and eagle are the same. Yeah. Sam? Okay. Um, I'm wearing a cloak thing that goes down to this really, like, really flowy and light skirt thing. Yeah. That's red, like the skirt that I'm wearing currently. Becca, you know it all of you. Um, and I'm wearing, like, just, like, really tight slip-ons and leggings. You're wearing slip-ons over top of your clawed feet? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wearing shoes. <laughs> All right. Over, um, over top of not my clawed feet, Dad. It's, they're called talons. Okay. And what does Luna look like? Um, you are a half elf. I'm a half elf. And you are, oh, wait, I'm five foot tall. And I have golden eyes. You are 4.5 feet tall. Yeah. I'm, what is I'm Luna? What is Luna wearing? Yeah. I'm six foot. I'm three feet. <laughs> okay. Let your sister talk, please. I'm wearing like basically everything that I'm wearing now, except for the hat and pants. <laughs> so you're just wearing a shirt. No, this like I'm wearing like stripe, like black stripes mm -hmm. and a pink. Oh, uh, okay. And also, um, like, I don't have the hat on. Okay. Like and the, the reason she doesn't have the hat on is because <laughs> she has uh, a headband with wolf ears on it. Yeah. What? And, and the wolf ears, when she's listening to things, they move. <sighs> that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 that's why I'm fearless, and I keep on doing this. When I play my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I just play. Lily. I, I say, oh, I'm um, Lily dad. is playing herself and she's stuck in a rock. <laughs> <laughs> dad. Yeah. Dad. I check in. I check in if she has acne. Yeah. Yes. Yes, she has actual ears. She has pointy ears because she's a half They're hard to see through her hair, but they're there. What color hair does she have? I don't remember. What, the, did, what did she write on her sheet? She has, like, blue hair, right? Um, I okay. dyed my heel. Okay. Her hair is dyed blue. Alright, so as you guys are, are taking a breath after your fight, um, you each head back to the section of the boats where your families are, if your families are here. Uh, yes, dear. My character does not trust Mist. Like, okay. at all. Okay. At all. You don't know why, because every time you try to figure things out with me, it's come out that I'm being honest with you. It's just as a bad thing. Yeah. And technically, when the captain showed up, she was working on the ship. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So we go see our families? So you, you head over to your families. Uh, Luna. Oh, I need to be over here. I don't, I don't think any of my family came with me. No, so you just head back to work. Yep. I stay working on it. Uh, on your way back to work, uh, you're stopped by Captain Threadbear, and he says, um, Era, uh, have you seen my hat? I think of it, no. Keep an eye out for it, please, because it's gone missing. It was, it was in my quarters, and it's vanished. Uh, and it's 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 a pretty spectacular hat. It's it's got nice broad, wide brim and a big feather. I'm very proud of it. It's it's what I wear for for parades. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's missing. So when you're up there, keep an eye out. If you if you spot it, I, I'd be very happy. 
Luna, you head to the to uh, the the back of the ship, and your family has sort of set up some cloth against one of the railings of the ship, and are are sort of camping on the deck. And you see your mother, Landra, who is entertaining children. She's sitting on the deck and she's waving her hands around and she's making these little crowns of flowers. And she's putting them on everybody, all the little kids' heads. Story craft. And uh, your father, Seamus, is uh, just sort of sitting back and watching your mother with a smile. And um, Navrin is your your uh, brother is sitting older or younger? Uh, younger. He's sitting quietly watching what his parents are doing and uh, occasionally looking over the side of the ship um, with his hand sort of on his bow. Looks like he's hoping for more adventure. Do you say anything to them? Mm, no. He just no, come sit down? You just go sit down and, and join? Did you did you learn Druidcraft as yeah, a cantrip? Yes, Druidcraft. Are you gonna help your mom make flowers for the kids? Yeah, I just like to tell them that when my mom makes them, they You're like, how old is she? She's a full grown woman. <laughs> you, you sit on your mom's lap and she's like, "You're too big for this." <laughs> and, then, and then you sit next to her and you guys start working together. <laughs> Um, Jake, you head to a uh, section of the ship that looks like it is fairly close to where the captain sleeps. Your family actually has a cabin. I thought his family was like this. No. Uh, no they've, they've been um, reunited. They've been reunited. Yeah. What? Someone the last boat? Someone the last on the boat? They came on, on one of the other boats. Mm-hmm. One of the boats of soldiers managed to pick them up. And you, you, you see now that they're a little bit closer, a couple of the boats look like they took some damage. Mm-hmm. So there's something bad happening, but his parents managed to make it off the island. Um, when I have some, some more spare time and I'm not working, I'd like to go and check out and like ask people on the other ships what happened. Okay, we'll get to that after, after this. Okay. Um, your father, Joseph, okay. you remember him, he's, he's kind of chubby, uh, he's got glasses and, and white hair, um, he's not really old Wait. enough to have white hair, uh, but he, you think his hair turned white because he works very hard, um, and he wears glasses and he's got smiley lines around his mouth, um, and your mother is, uh, she's a no one. Um, oh, no, she's, she's, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting things confused. Um, your, your mother, Rachel, uh, is, uh, is very tall, um, very muscular, um, but her, her clothes don't look like they're designed for any kind of rugged work or anything. And she has long black hair with a white streak in it, and she's sitting chatting with your father. She's a teacher. She's a teacher. Yeah. Absurdly ripped teacher, but yes. <laughs> he's, he's a very strong she, teacher. Yes. Because <laughs> she's, she's where you get your SMR nature from. Yeah. So do you want to say anything to your parents about what just happened? Well, I'm going to say I'm going to bake some crappy patties. Crappy <laughs> <laughs> patties. And uh, Rachel looks over and goes, Excellent. That'll be good. Let's let's work together on that. Yeah. And she does a flourish with her hands, and all these multicolored sparks come from them. And then she takes you down to the kitchen on the I, boat I, so I you can start you working. Do it with me. I, um, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get my friend to come first. Okay. To, to also help. Uh, where, where is she? I'm working right now. Oh, she's working. Oh, where is she working? I'm the. She's the scout, so. Oh, she's up there? Yeah. Uh, Mom waves her hand in the air and there's like fireworks. (laughs) 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 (laughs
And, and, and the fireworks slowly form into a uh, red arrow that points down <laughs> towards the, the ship. Do you, want, do you want to come down and see what's going on? As, you, as, you, as you're coming down, she says, Come with us! We're going to go make some food! I, I, I'm sort of working right now. Uh, Captain Threadbear says, Um, I don't want too much more of that. That was disturbing. Why don't you go with them so that you can keep them quiet? <laughs> so you guys head down below and start cooking. Um, give me a uh, survival check with advantage. What about Hex? I'm she's she's yeah. helping and she's yeah. learning from your mom. So, oh. Do I have a second dice for advantage? I, I'm very interested in this. 15 chance for survival. But also, I'm constantly just like, I should be working. Get to those wild ones. No, it's Captain said I was alright. 17. Yeah, that's so awesome. 17. Nice. You and your mom together take this really questionable giant angry crab meat and make some really neat um crab patties really neat I yeah help like too. yeah and you help too um some of what they're doing is really weird like you've you have seen food prep before and generally people use knives and and no, spices and no magic and, and then as, as you're watching as, as they're doing things all of a sudden there's poofs of color and all of some Singing. yeah they, 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 they sing they sing songs and you're pretty sure partway through you saw a song fold some pastry over it. <laughs> it's it's strange but you you managed to make some fairly decent food and feed it to everybody on the ship and um the the sailors are all um all happy for the for the new and interesting addition to their diet. And also fishing to, to make some shrews sh potato. Okay. So you, you start fishing off of the back of the ship. Uh, I go back to working. Okay. Um, and the fist rockets uh, are set up down in the hold. Okay. So I, I walk down there. Hi, Dad. Miss Lana. Yeah. So your dad, Penn, is there. And... Um, he is a clockmaker. He has bright pink hair, and he has glasses, but they have, like, fold-out extra lenses that he uses yeah. for magnification. <laughs> kind of like Percy's glasses. <laughs> um, like, 70 lenses on each side. La Lana has blonde hair, and she's your stepmother. Mm -hmm. um, and you see your three siblings. Um, Trinket, Project, and Bobble. Uh, they're all sort of stereotypical gnomes, busy doing their things. Uh, Trinket has blue hair, and he's over in the corner. He's got a couple of little tools, and he's sort of grumbling to himself. <laughs> Looks like he's making something. Uh, Project is bouncing around between the members of your family going, <laughs> Are you having fun? Do you need help? Is he young? Um, and uh, the interesting thing about Project is she seems to have rabbit ears growing out of the top of her head. <laughs> Why? Yeah, this is normal for me. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, you see uh, Bobble is sort of sitting in a corner, and he looks really unhappy. And um, as, you, as you walk in, there's a small furry blue creature on his shoulder. Um, and it's like, <gasps> just leave me alone. But you can see that that's Bobble making a voice for it. So are you are you talking to your family about this? So I, yeah, I said hi, Dad, Miss Lana first, and I walked in. Yep. And then um, I go see what Bobble's doing first. What are you doing, Bobble? Uh, you remember Bobble used to play a game with his friends where they would all sort of put on these little plays with their little characters. Um, and it's it's not it's not a puppet. It's magical. What? Lana? Can do did he inherit magic from Lana? Probably. Not not from Lana. He just developed magic? Yeah. Okay. It's a fairly it's a fairly minor spell. It's just a minor illusion. Okay. Um, and you remember that the little blue creature that sits on, on his shoulder is um, very sarcastic. 
So you, you come up and you're like, what are you doing? And the creature says, what do you think I'm doing? <laughs> He's sitting in the corner of this boat, going to the middle of nowhere where I'll die. <laughs> <laughs> I may not. That that might be worse. I have to say something. I'm actually going around the boat giving out Krabby Patties. Okay, you can do that so, first before you start fishing. And I do. And, and did you give me like, one? Yeah, I give everyone one for one. I know. I'm having a few leftovers, so. Yeah. I understand you miss your friends. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Go away. <laughs> Um, I, I, hmm. do I have anything to give him as a present? I wouldn't tell you. Okay. <laughs> we can give him a bit of a present. I'll make him something. Get, no, but I did, so I, 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 get one I probably gave him a present. Okay, I go, um, I go over to Project and say, hey, Project, can you test this for me? <laughs> <laughs> you see her ears stand straight up <laughs> and she goes, <laughs> Vanishes, you can't see her anymore. <laughs> it's a gun. <laughs> what, why did you hold up? Just play a little vial. She doesn't trust you for some reason. I, I, I some love. reason. <laughs> might have something to do with the permanent funny ears you gave her. I would love to have permanent funny ears. <laughs> Um, what was Trinket doing? He was grumbling about making something? Yeah, he's grumbling like he usually does. He's, he's kind of a grumpy, grumpy guy. Um, and he was working on something with some tiny little tools. What you making? Why do you want to know? Because... It won't explode. You're not interested in it. <laughs> Like things that explode. Could have fooled me. <laughs> well, I mean, like, have you seen your sister's bunny ears? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a threat? <laughs> Sets the thing he's working down on down, reaches over, grabs this little tiny guy, winds up a little key in it, and sets it down between the two of you, and it's this little um, mechanical soldier with a sword, and it starts walking forward like this towards you. It's it's about that big. It's not very threatening. I bring out the prototype for my little dragon, and it breathes fire on it. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder your siblings hate you. <laughs> you. You see him get a little worried, but his guy's still coming towards you, and he's like, "Ha!" Bye. That's why, that's why I don't put cloth on these anymore. It starts hitting the dragon, and you start to get a little concerned. Uh, roll, me a, roll me a d20. Oh no! Mm. A range of stereotypes. It's one of my worst prototypes. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? I, anything good? I just roll. <laughs> the, the, the little guy with his little sword um, is slashing towards your dragon. It hits the bladder that holds the flammable liquid, cuts it open, and then on the next swing, it makes a piece of metal, and your dragon goes <laughs> destroying the dragon, ruining your brother's toy. But he goes, ha ha! Victory! Victory! I've slain the dragon. Good now go away. Good job, Trinket. I go. He goes, he did. I thought he said that his, his experiment wasn't going to blow up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, been, the other thing he's working on is here. Yeah. Alright, yeah, I go and um, ask Dad how, how his time has been. Like, how did, I asked Dad how he went. Like, I asked Dad if he's okay. He didn't get injured during the crab stuff. I, had to see, I checked that out. Okay. Uh, you can see that he's, um, he's still looking a little seasick. He hasn't been doing really well on the boat. Um, 
but he sort of looks over and goes, the crab thing? Did you sleep through it? No, no, but we're down here under the mm. under the deck. We, we, we heard some yelling. Crabs broke into onto some of the ships earlier. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Glad to see you're okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Um. Do you, how do you know crabs broke in? I was attacked by them. Oh no! <laughs> uh, are you okay? Are you, are you okay? <laughs> I'm a little injured, but I should be fine. Okay. Is the ship okay? We. I mean. It was it was a little damaged, but the person that how many how many holes did you put in the ship? What do you mean? <laughs> I it was the crabs, not me. Technically, you shot a hole in the ship <laughs> and you set it on fire, <laughs> but you don't tell your dad. That. <laughs> it's a perfectly reasonable assumption that you might damage the boat. Okay. He knows you. He's your dad. <laughs> Alright, and then I go and work on um, dragon. dragon. Probably replacing your bullets. Yeah, I'm going to work on making new bullets. And dragon wise. And, and then after that, I'm going to work on the dragon. Okay. Uh, roll me a tinkering check. Are you good at tinkering? Yeah. <coughs> like that six. What will I have tinkering? Uh, do you have a you have tinker tools, right? Mm-hmm. So it's Dex plus your proficiency bonus. Dex? Not mm -hmm. intelligence? Uh sure, intelligence. Okay, right, cool, yay. Mm. Dirty twenty. <laughs> <laughs> uh you managed to get your new improved prototype with slightly less accessible flame blast. <laughs> um you get some work done on that, and you replace your bullets. It's kind of awkward doing that while you're on the ocean, though. You're looking forward to not being on the boat anymore. Um, missed. I'm working on the hole in the ship. <laughs> and once you finish working on the hole in the ship, um, what do you do? Um... I think I'm going to I don't know. I don't really want to wander around the ship during the day. Um so I think that I will stay where I So you stay kinda of calm till evening, you do some repairs. Yeah. Um the the, the captain brings down some food at, at some point. Um and uh, sort of looks around, looks at what's left of the cell that you were in, with all of the bars sort of broken and the door standing there, locked. And he goes, um, well, uh, here's, your, here's your meal. Don't worry, Captain um, Threadbear. I'm not going to be going anywhere. The ship's in the middle of the water. It, that's true. There are still guards upstairs, too, so mm -hmm. you'd be good. I'm always... <laughs> okay, thank you for not trying to take over my ship. I knew it! <laughs> knew it! <laughs> it's not my ship. It's not my goal. Okay, all right. We should be arriving fairly soon in the next three or four days. Wonderful. Looking forward to it. Good. And then I'll be free to go? Um. Well, free to go to Orton, yeah. And you said there or someone said there were certain rules about Thornton's port. Yes. Um, if you would like to leave from Fortin's port, you'll need uh, permission from the local magistrate. Okay. No one leaves without his say so. So. So technically once I'm there, I'm stuck there. That's the whole plan. Hopefully. <laughs> but, I mean, someone of, of your fearsome reputation, I'm not sure how long that'll hold. I owe some people. All right. Thank you very much, Captain. It's been lovely sailing with you. Um, have you seen my hat? Your hat? 
Yeah, it's really nice. It's got a big <laughs> feather. The one you were wearing the day we took uh, start set sail. Yes, yes, that one. <clears throat> nope, haven't seen it. Oh, okay. Wait, did you see it? And he wanders. He, he he wanders away, sort of crestfallen. Um. All right. And I sort of say, "Where would I have it? Like, <laughs> I don't have anything." I know. You where. guys have made sure of that. I know where. All right. Oh yeah. You've so, taken everything from me. Yeah. So after two or three more days of sailing, it's fairly uneventful. There aren't any more attacks. You yep. forgot my thing where I go and check out the boat. Um, over the course of the next few days, during your time off, you fly over to some of the other ships, and uh, they tell you that um, the island was burning, and it looked like something was directing the flames. And um, when they were trying to pick up the last boatload of people, the boats were attacked by strange undead creatures, uh, a lot of whom that were on fire, like 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 zombies, but zombies. burning ones. Do I know anything about these burning zombies? Um, they're zombies, <laughs> which is gross and nasty because they're undead and they were on fire. Typically, you you know that. Um, if you set zombies on fire, that tends to cause damage to them, and eventually they'll, the necrotic magic that's sustaining them will, will stop. So people don't typically make zombies that are on fire. But it could just be a way that there could be a zombie that's on fire, like any sort of like demon thing or something? Um, actually, roll a, uh, roll a religion check. Yeah, it could just be that zombies were just on fire from the fire. Could be. Ooh, sweet. Necromancers don't really care much about their zombies, they just care about the army of zombies. It's hard to have an army if you burn them. Unnatural 20. Um... You are aware of various fiendish entities and various elementals that are in a constant state of fire. They generally don't hang out with zombies. Mm. <clears throat> Anything else you're asking about? Back if I can't come up with any other questions. Okay. So after after about three more days of, of sailing, um, on the morning of that third day, you you see in the distance large mountains. It looks like these mountains extend all along the coastline. And uh, over the next sort of half day or so, you're getting closer and closer to those mountains, and you start to see a waterfall. And another three or four hours later, you see at the base of this waterfall, looks like there's some kind of port. Can we have a, we have a behind the waterfall base? Yeah. Yeah, but. Why are some probably made chicks sushi? You've, you have you have caught a few fish. Um, it's it's different than the fish that you're used to. You don't usually get fish from the middle of the ocean. But you made some pretty tasty food. Yes, everyone likes my food. Yeah, the uh, the the one thing that you and your mom worked on was rainbow tuna sushi, but the meat was actually rainbow colored, which is not how <laughs> rainbow tuna <laughs> usually works. <laughs> I it. It, it tastes good. It no, I, I nibble on it because I'm a bird and I like fish. And, and it yeah. tastes amazing. Cool. It's very fresh. Yeah. Uh, so you can see now, as, as, you're, as you're slowly pulling into port, uh, there's this large waterfall that descends for about 120 feet. Oh. And there's this platform that is coming down from the top of the waterfall towards the port. Ooh. And the three ships are sort of pulling in. 
and everybody on the, 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 the captain sort of sends his, his crew around to say, all right, everybody start gathering your things. We're okay. going to be unloading here in about a half an hour. Ah, let me just gather all of my stuff up. Oh, wait, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, uh, the thing that you guys notice as you're uh, gathering up your stuff and heading off the ship is in the middle of the crowd with you guys is your friend that you met. Hello! Hey! Hi! Hey. Hey. Well, hi. How are you? Good. Good. So, wait, wait, wait. I have one question. Aren't I working on the boat? And, yep. Or... But you were working on the boat till you got here because you were sent here by your monastery. Okay. So, so you can paid talk? your passage here by working. Oh! So you are getting off here. You're not going back with the group. <laughs> That'd be an interesting campaign. The four of them doing their campaign stuff, and you <laughs> constantly having boat adventures alone. <laughs> 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 Just playing every now and then. We just go, go back to me. <laughs> All right. And so you see everybody sort of gathering, filing off the ship. As you're filing off the ship, you see there are some dock workers that are sort of directing people. They're like, head to that end of the dock. There will be a, a bailiff who will um, take some information from you, and then you'll be put on the uh, on the lift. Um, the so this is this is a fairly uh, well developed dock. There's a couple of, of small warehouses, and this large lift that's coming down from above. The other thing you notice is yeah. Is mom wearing the captain's hat? We'll see. Is she? Not yet. I know what it looks like. You do. Um, the other thing that you see is there's a very narrow trail that leads up from the dock all the way sort of switch back across the cliffs all the way to the top. It looks like it might take maybe 15 minutes to a half an hour to climb. Um, yeah. Uh, probably while we're walking, I'm just like, oh, I haven't seen mammals in so long. Beautiful. I yeah. the water for this. I'm fidgeting with something as I walk. Yeah. Uh, so as you guys get to uh, to the deck, the, um, uh, the 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 bailiff is sort of checking names, and he loads people onto the the lift, um, and most of you make it onto the first load. Do you guys want to take the lift, or do you want to take the walk? Lift. 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 I'm too. I'm. I'm too short. Actually, I don't even have to take the lift. I can fly. It's only 120 feet, right? Yeah. I can fly 150 in six seconds. Wait. No, you can fly 106 seconds. Oh. <laughs> no. no. 50. 50. She can fly 50 mm. in six seconds, but she can fly 150 before she needs to rest. Oh. Okay. Yeah. She can stay in the air. Like, but I'll take the lift. Okay. <coughs> all right. Well, Unless we'll take the lift. Any money. Do we? Do we all go with our families, or we end up together somehow? Uh, you you're with your families, and you manage to find each other in the press. Oh. Oh. Right. And so, the lift hi. starts lifting. It looks like it'll take about five minutes to get to the top. <laughs> you're not sure. It it's moving fairly smoothly. And so you we see, can see the boat from here. Yeah, you can see the boat from here. Okay, we're on the lift? You're on the lift. Okay, I'm going to reach into my bag, or my, yeah. my vest, and pull out the captain's hat. <laughs> really? I'm going the captain and blow him a kiss. <laughs> That's a very nice captain, hat. That's captain Fredbear, nice. with his with, <laughs> sort of points, he's like, oh! <laughs> I'm going to scratch my hat. No! no I'm going to stop you. No! <laughs> Roll a. Uh, Before she does that, I compliment you on your hat. That's you're just trying to. Hat. You're just trying to grab it. Yeah, just grab it. Okay, right, so just roll a dexterity check. And I'm rolling. Yeah. Um, I think hand. you can add sleight of hand to it. Sleight of hand is proficiency, or is it a plus five? No, it's, it's a proficiency. And no, it's a slight, just yeah. sleight of hand. Okay. Yeah. Seventeen. Fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you reach out and snatch towards the hat, and she nimbly sort of ducks out of the way. That's a very nice hat, by the way. Thank you. I thought so. It, it 
looks good on me. Well, you have magic pockets. You can't apply that even your shorts. Well, I flip around and I show you my oh. my vest, and it's, it's just a vest. It's not a backpack. Does it look like the hat would have fit in there? No. No. I knew you had magic. Oh. Not really. You are a terrible person. <laughs> <laughs> that is not true. And I'm sure... And when you get to know me, you will see that. I, I find she's a very polite, nice person. Yeah. She's... So over the course of the next week, uh, you help your family sort of get set up. And um, Sarah, while we're doing this, can you run and let the dog in, please? And um, if you only allow uh, five people in, uh, in one room, Thank you. Oh, you you all you all go with your with your various families. Um, <clears throat> so we're in an inn, not not an inn, like a hotel. No, your your families are moving here. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, but like, have they made houses for us already? There are houses available. Yeah. And we're gonna buy them. Um. Well. We make our own houses? Uh, the Fitzbrockets buy a house. All right. Cool. Um, they uh, they actually buy uh, a house in the Stone Ward. Which is um, just off. Actually, I'll show you guys something real quick. Right. This, yeah, you can't see that. <laughs> this is Fortin. There's a large lake here. Um, Where did we go lake from? or? You guys came from here, from the from Iron the Gate. Port? Uh, the lake leads to a waterfall, which goes down to the port, All right. and the iron gate is on either side, and that's where the lift comes from. And uh, there's a town hall here, and the Fitzbrockets have a house in the stone ward over here, and the Bradnells have a warehouse that was not the being Bradnells? used. Where the Bradnells? The Bradnells. <laughs> and I don't know where the last name is. <laughs> And the night shadows um, are, are sort of hunters, and they have a house sort of way up over here. Um, so, Mom? I don't have a house. Yeah. All right, cool. I have to think for myself. If you want, I am related in the mantle. I've grown up in the mantle. Oh, does she have a house? Good. No. We're probably, we're probably so just over like the killing course, in the mansion because it's where I'm coming. So you guys are becoming flat. Over the course of, of the week while they're getting settled in, what are you guys doing? Camping. You're just going like chilling in the mountains. You just, you just are hanging out in the going. mountains next to the town? Yeah. You find some place to roost? You should make a tree house. Yeah, can I make a tree house? Um, I don't know if a week is long enough. Can I, can, can I find a tree not that like I'm a, going to make a tree house in? Not like an actual, just like a, like a wooden platform. A nest. Yeah, can I just make a, a wooden pat, platform to start? What with? do you have for tools? Why do you not? I have an explorer's pack. Mason's tools. <gasps> Mason's tools! Oh, so you might actually be able to make something. Yeah. <laughs> Stone carving. So the one thing that you do find out is, um, there yeah. is, uh, Along the Iron Gate, um, they're building fortifications that are eventually going to house cannons as sort of uh, defenses Ooh. for Fort from from the sea. Ooh, I could I could help make that. There's a clan of dwarves that are um, excavating that, and one of the things that they do with the leftover stone is it's shipped to um, shipped slightly upstream from where they dig it out to a place called the Stone Yard. So. If you have um, if you have the ability to transport it and the funds to buy it, you can get plenty of rock to make things, mm. and some fairly nice dressed stone as well. So instead of a house. tree house, you could just go up into one of the mountains and build yourself a little mm. cave. I was thinking that there was like a single like little platform thing in one of the mountains with a tree on it. I, I really want to. <laughs> Do you want a house next to a tree or a house in a tree? Okay. Um, I want to use like wood so that I can like just crush the tree. Okay. There is a there is a lumber yard where you can buy that kind of stuff as well. So you oh you my. buy tools and some lumber I to get started. Masons. <coughs> masons are for for stonework. Stonework. Um. That's and and, and feeding yourself for the week. That's going to cost you all five hundred gold. No, but he's hunter. I have fifteen gold. You have fifteen. But oh. he's a hunter. 
He's, he's a, bird. a monk. He's, he's a, a monk. monk. He's yeah. a bird. Um, let's 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 say five gold for that. No, but uh, also she has probably has rations of what I gave her. But she looks yeah. doesn't. She just for ate a it week? all. Oh. She just ate it all. Yeah, raw fish doesn't keep for very long, dude. Yeah. So now I have wood carvers. Yes. Yeah. And you, um, over the course of the week, you started to build yourself. Um, you, you've started to actually roll me a. And it wouldn't have been. Just called, roll me a straight dex check. It wouldn't have been called rocks. Okay. It would have been called leftovers. Hmm. Okay. I could also deliver him. Yeah, but you're busy moving it. Oh, yeah. Eh. All right. Well, so, while she's check. getting ready to roll me the check, what are you doing? Uh, I think, first of all, I'm staying around town, getting to know the layout of the town. Um, Can I offer the, you yeah. a chance to make it? Because uh, I'm nice. I don't like you, but you can live with me if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to spanking. It, it's hard, there, it's there hard is, to get up there. Yeah, I did. There is um, still in the town and stuff like that. Yeah. And there are a couple boarding houses for boarding. people that are in transition. Yeah. Thirteen. Um, you're really happy with the work that you're doing. Uh, about halfway through the week, a uh, quarter of your platform falls off. You may want you may want to consider reinforcing some sections. Like getting pillars. Yeah. But you're you are no stranger to hard work. You 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 work pretty hard putting this stuff together. So I have, uh, so what I have now is like a little bit of wood in a tree with maybe a pillar. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just Brand, like, extra branches, wooden. Yeah. Are you waiting for the camera the or main? Um, I want to. I well, I want to tell someone to think that I was doing like after a okay. good bit. Of I will. I'll describe what your house is like. And then you can describe what you're doing. Am I, am I near a lake? Uh, yeah, you're, you're fairly close to to the lake. The lake in the in the center, uh, well, not not the center, just off to the side of town, is called Mile High Lake. Okay. But it yeah, isn't fine. a mile up from the ocean, but they thought that sounded better than 150 foot lake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I probably part of, well instead of buying food, I probably just grabbed fish with my talons. Look. Can she eat rocks? Uh, roll a survival check. Yeah, I'm a bird. Yeah, um, I guess that's I'm why I get bugs. So she can probably eat fish. Fourteen. Alright. Uh, you, you managed to, to feed yourself about 50%. And the, the other times you have to buy food. But that's part of the reason why your house isn't moving very fast. Because you spend a lot of time fishing. You know, fishing. So, do I get any money back from that? Nope. Um, Five was very cheap. <laughs> so you're you're going around town. What do you? Found the cheapest for? Um, boarding house to stay in. The boarding houses um, will let you stay for about a week. Okay. Um, and there is no charge, uh, but they they do sort of try to incorporate you into the into the the society. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of pressure to uh, to sign on to work. Uh, either in the um, cotton fields, the hemp fields, or uh, there are also some places that are growing crops. Um, and uh, a couple of times there's some guys that come through looking for uh, people to work in the lumber camp. Mm -hmm. What you hear is um, about a half day's travel upstream. Okay, so I'm looking for all the sorts of things, getting my base around town, mm -hmm. um, figuring out um, who runs the inns, who runs the bars, who runs uh, things, looking for thieves can't written anywhere, um, just getting to know my new home. Okay. And then there's me who's just out in the mountains. Going. Yeah, chopping wood. Um, you do hear, uh, as, as you're going around town, um, that uh, one of the uh, riverfront buildings, this one was one of the original uh, buildings that was built, um, the owner has fallen on hard times and has had to sell. 
and the new owner is looking for some help with um, some type of problem with the basement. Ooh, all of us will help with that. Okay. All of us will be. Um, no one going to in the day compliment my heels. Oh yes, you didn't mention that when you were talking about. Did we get to what you guys looked? She, to do? you were on the phone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, my mistake. Yes. I love your ears. Um, so you discover that this is a um, this is a strange town. Most of the buildings that are closest to the edge uh, belong to the military. Uh, there's a fairly large smithy. There are a lot of warehouses. There are some factories that are making uh, rope and sailcloth. They just moved into a warehouse, right? Yep. Huh. I'll explain that okay. in a little bit. Uh, you learn that there are um, there's a commercial center uh, with a, a bunch of different um, businesses that are selling things. Uh, Thieves Camp does um, lead you to believe that there is uh, an underground market somewhere, or at least a less uh, less uh, officially licensed market. Okay. Um, the, so the general areas of the town is there's a commercial district, there is the stone walk, um, and there is a, a place that is called the square that is uh, a large sort of flat area of stone between the edge of the cliff and the first set of buildings. It looks like it would be really good if you were marshalling troops or something. Do you want me to show the map? No. Um, you also learned that uh, there is a lot of homesteading happening. Some of the some of the poorer groups just sort of sign up for a parcel of land, and then they go out and clear the land and build houses and farm crops. Um, there are also um, off to the side of the stone walk. There are there's a lot of really rough housing that looks like it's been built from sort of unseasoned timbers and just whatever people could throw up close to the town. Um, and with your specific interests, the other thing that you would notice is that just um, the, the town hall is a fairly large building. Um, it looks like it uh, also functions partially as a barracks. Um, but just north of the town hall, sort of out in the water, are four is is a large stone building with four. Um, stone circles like the cardinal compass points and it's referred to by the locals as the wells Holy wells uh and it's everyone is afraid of them the wells are scary mm. dungeon all right good to know uh all right so that was so the, the Night Shadow Clan, oh, you guys, um, you head out, yes. Well, there's just five. Four. 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 Pick that up, please. Yeah, I don't want really chewing on those. Um, you those guys head out, the pants and you help your mom. And what you guys do is, uh, using druidic magic, you grow some trees sort of together. Thank you. And you hang some cloth, and you make a really nice house. Um. Me yeah, and my mom? Yeah, you and your mom. The treehouse? About, about four days after you arrive, you guys think that the, the homestead is set up well enough, and everybody sort of scatters into the woods to go hunting. And we'll come back to that in a little bit. Um, the Bradnells are assigned a warehouse. Um, you know that your dad has been sent here to do some type of accounting work for the government. Uh, so after after a couple days, you see that your dad has uh, hung a sign outside. It says, Radmill's Accounting, an educational elemental eatery. And uh, oh. inside, uh, there's it's a warehouse. Up on the second floor, you've um, your family has hired people to make sort of a living area. It's all still pretty rough. Um, but you kick everybody out at night so you can sleep. And then the warehouse itself is being divided into three sections. The first, and, and between the sections of the warehouse, 
there are very thick walls with soundproofing on them because your dad knows that your mom likes to experiment and he doesn't want uh, explosions and screaming and, <laughs> and randomly running creatures uh, to interrupt him while he's doing his accounting work. <laughs> so in the back of the warehouse is an accounting office. And then in the middle is a, uh, a kitchen and sort of classroom area where your mom does sort of uh, teaches magic and cooking. And then in the front of the warehouse is a seating area where people can come and have lunch. Um, generally what's served is whatever your mom has made and whatever the students are making over the course of the and day. And whatever I help today. Okay. Yep. I, I'm, I'm like the person, I'm kind of like a teacher helper. Yeah, you've been, you've been helping out your mom. Uh, the Fitzbrockets have a, uh, a modest two-story stone house. Um, and you guys brought a lot of stuff with you. Um, no basement? No basement. Most of what you brought with you is for the workshop. And the workshop and the house? first no. Oh. <laughs> the first floor of your house it's is so given over fun. entirely to workshop. Yeah. You have a section, your dad has a section, your brother has a section, um, and your sister sort of jumps from section to section and helps whoever needs it. Um, and then there's a there's sort of a desk in the corner where Lana does her work, but she's an architect, so she doesn't really need much more than than sort of the desk and her writing tools and um and on the second floor it was originally two large rooms it's been um divided up into a bunch of tiny little rooms everybody has their own room that they can sleep in no bunk beds that's about it <laughs> tiny little tiny rooms. little rooms my room even though i have my own space downstairs still has stuff in it yeah <laughs> <laughs> there's like a shelf with my prized collections of stuff. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Now, did you guys agree to get back together at some point? Nope. Nope. Okay. <laughs> so what, what ends up happening is, uh, Luna, you spend two or three days out hunting, and when you come back, there's nobody home. You can see that there have been people who have come home, but they're gone again. Uh, you see there are a couple of deer carcasses that are hung over in where you keep the meat. Um, and uh, there's some other things. What do you want to do? I'm going to clean up all the meat that I got. Um, and I'm going to let all around um, um, Is there more than just one? There are there are a lot of, of uh, different areas, but it's mostly open. There are a couple of curtains hanging for for bedrooms and stuff. I'm going to um look in all the places except for the bedrooms, but I'll afterwards that will go in my eye, um, and that and that's what feels like I'm ready to I'll go into my room and like like do something that I like. Okay. So you, you look around, nobody's home, so you make yourself some food, and you hang out in your room doing things that you like to do. Um, after about two days, still no one's come. What? I sat to my family. Oh. Do you think you might want to go get some help to try and find your family? Yeah. Just saying, I told everybody where I was going. I was just like, hey, I'm just going to go and chill in the mountains. So you know where I am. Uh, you or maybe you came to town to get some food or yeah. something. You have been given uh, a mission by your uh, monastery to find a uh, magic item. And it is in uh, an ancient temple. So probably when I have a little bit of spare time not working on that, I'm probably just like, Gathering information. Yeah. Yeah. Info. There doesn't seem to be a lot of information, but you're you're while you're flying around town um, asking questions, you see Luna. And um, as you're as you're flying, she sort of waves at you. Are you coming to land? Yes? For two whole days 
I haven't seen any of the humans. Can you help me look for them? Yeah, first let's gather a, let's see if we can get a, any other help because it's never good to go out in small groups. We should get bigger than just one or two people. Um, do I know where anybody else should be staying? Uh, the Baradinals are, are kind of a big deal. You've been hearing all kinds of things about the, the, the new restaurant in town. I'll ask. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Let's go and find Jake. Let's go and find Jake first, because I know where he's staying. Uh, so I'm going, guys, can guys... I carry her and fly over there to make it faster? Will I be able to do that without hindering myself? Or would it... You'll roll me a strength check. I just want to, like, do I know this off the top of my head? Um, you haven't tried carrying a lot of people. Usually it's some kind of, like, an emergency. Like, someone's falling and you can catch them as a means of travel. It's not something that you've done often. Want to try, you want to try me flying and holding you? Alright, roll a strength check. I am not good at strength, so yay! 19! <laughs> So you you've been you have been working pretty hard over this past week, and you think you may have built some new muscles. <laughs> yeah. And so you 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 grab her and you fly, and then you land and you fly and you land and you make it in about half the time. And you you come in front of this. It, there's this row of identical looking buildings. <laughs> there's. And then in front of one of the buildings is hanging this sign, and um, that. You can tell it was built exactly like all of the other buildings, but it's colorful. <laughs> I'm gonna come up. Like to somebody, this. somebody painted it, but they painted it by like catapulting <laughs> buckets of color on it. It, it. it looks like it looks like the place was a paint factory that exploded, and someone put it back together. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to walk up to it and just go. <laughs> No, you, you can just open the door and walk in. It's yeah. not nice. I'm not gonna. You hear, you hear from inside. You can just open the door and walk in. This is a restaurant. I am okay. I am polite. And you open the door and you see uh, there are about forty tables. Wow, that's big. Also, this my, is a huge warehouse. All right. I I just say you. I just like doors. Wait, wait, also, wait. Also, also, we need to speak to Jake. Oh, my mom says okay. Uh, your mom's your mom's not up front. You um, see, all of the tables are full. A lot of the people that are sitting there are wearing clothes that look kind of worn out. Um, the place is dead. What is what? <laughs> Lily, quiet. Once the <laughs> once the dog starts quiet. stops ruining my ambiance, <laughs> the place is dead quiet. All you hear is the sound of forks hitting plates. And every once in a while, it seems like everybody in the room in unison goes, mm. That's creepy. Yeah, that, that's scary. Um, and and they're, all, they're all sort of sitting still. Eventually, after you stand there for a few seconds, sort of taking this in, uh, someone comes out of the, a, a room in the back. It's this giant woman. But you've wearing, seen her before. You've seen her just like wearing an enormous chef's hat that looks like it matches the outside of the building. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of her clothes are black, very, very sort of formal looking. And she says, "Welcome. I'm sorry we don't have any open seats at the moment, uh, but I could feed you in the kitchen." No, 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 He's in the kitchen! Come with me! Okay. <laughs> what are you doing in the kitchen? Um, I'm currently baking some rainbow sushi. Oh, you're making baked rainbow sushi. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which is weird, because somehow you're managing to keep fish raw in the middle of a baked bun. Yeah, you still have rice. Right. Right. You have an, a, a, a bowl one, but you can sit. Okay. Oh, well, Jake. 
we've come here for a little bit more serious thing than be trying food. Um, let's get out. Let's get out. Yeah, let's let's. Okay. Um, let's get out. Let's let's get out. Yeah. Um, two whole daylight happens to be my family. That is serious. My my mom's like twenty four seven here. Um, Except for what's your fishing? What's your what's your what's your what's your for right now. Miss Bradnell, do you mind if we borrow your son for a little bit so that we can, like, help Luna? Yeah. For With two whole days. She <laughs> says, <laughs> Jake, you're going adventuring? Yeah. <laughs> Great. Do you need um, anything? Um, not really. Food. <laughs> oh, I can do that. Rations, please. And she one. grabs five little paper bags. Um, from this, uh, it, there's this tiny little I box love your mom. on the, I, I, on the I, table I, next to her. She opens it and she pulls out this this bag that's twice the size of the little <laughs> box that she just pulled it out of. And she hands one to you, and she hands one to you, and she hands one to Jake. And then she pulls out two more and goes, I feel like you'll need these as well. Yes, thank you. I've learned And if you look closely at them, um, the... Yeah, um, one of them says uh, gadget, <laughs> and the other one says mist. She's, she's magical. <laughs> well, we found her. We found the other thing. <laughs> she goes, no, 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 no. They're not in the bag. That's food, that's food for them. I, I know, I know. We found the other two people who were gonna who were gonna go with us. Now, while you've been working, have you been doing anything else? Um, my mom has been teaching me how to enchant a fishing rod to fish on that. Okay. I'm not on the best. It's like a better fishing rod. Yeah. I've learned to not question the things of this family. Okay. And I'm going to look at what's of, in my bag. Over the course of this uh, of this week, you have heard stories about this oh. new restaurant. Do you think your family has gone? Your father. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Right. Probably like once or twice. So as you guys come out of the kitchen, um, gadget. You you look <laughs> and you see a family of gnomes, all with different colored hair, <laughs> sitting around the table, going, mm -hmm. <laughs> gadget. There you are. We need you. Yeah. Let me finish my food. She first. doesn't respond. <laughs> I'm going to pick her up <laughs> and shake her. As you, as you shake her, she goes. Gadget. <laughs> 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 <Yeah, Jim. laughs> we need you. This is going. kidnapping. This is kidnapping. <laughs> we need you. We're going to go adventure. I want to eat my food. <laughs> We're going to go adventure. You, you look down, and your food is gone. <laughs> you ate all of it. It was you, and you remember the experience. It was so tasty and so relaxing that you felt like after you were done, you should probably have a nap. Is your food magical? I turn. I turn to Jake's mom. Jake's mom is still in the kitchen. Yeah. You can ask. Is, Jake. is is your mom's food magical? Yeah, but it doesn't. Oh look God. Eyes. We're going adventuring. <laughs> I pass you a bag. I pass you your bag. If we're going adventuring, let me get my stuff. Okay. okay. We're giving you a fried mist. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, wait. Do, 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 are my parents, did, did my parents snap out? Did my dad snap out? Nope. Of it? Your whole family is just sort of sitting there. Like, mm. <laughs> wow. Uh, I've uh, never uh, felt uh, so, I've uh, never uh, felt uh, so uh, unappreciated in my life. That's <laughs> um, it. Yeah. Let me tell you why. For two whole days, I haven't seen my family. Okay. Um, do you know where my tree yeah. house is? I feel the tree of my family was ignoring. <laughs> <laughs> Gadget. Do you know where my tree house is? No. Uh, where is a good meeting place? How she wants you? to go get her stuff. Are you guys going? Yeah, we're. No, I'm thinking that we could go and get missed and then meet up somewhere. I, I poke my dad at least ten times. <laughs> uh, so you, how hard are you poking him? Well, I mean, it gets harder, harder and harder. If <laughs> I, like, poke six, his body's starting to shake a little bit, and he goes, <laughs> It's a kidnapping! <laughs> Where's my food? <laughs> no! You 
so yummy. Did the same effect happen to me when I ate the sample? No, it's just that we're related. <laughs> <laughs> and he sort of looks at the rest of the family and he goes, Wake up, guys! Do they even move? Nothing. And he sort of pokes at Lana. Same thing. Poke, 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 poke. And she wakes up and goes, Huh, that was a great meal. <laughs> and he sort of reaches across the table to, uh, to drink it and starts... Fuck, 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 fuck. And Drinky goes, It's a kidnapping! Where's my food? <laughs> Eventually, the whole family is, is, is awakened. Does everyone react the same way I did? Yes. <laughs> and uh, they offer to uh, they, they offer to go with you to the house to, to help right. you get your stuff. Okay, um, me at... Uh, me at the left. The left? The left. Okay, okay. not up to here. Uh, I, so I, I knew that. I was just I was just confused as to why there. Because that's the only thing place I could find. Okay, sure. Um did did Miss come? Yeah. What, what have you have you eaten at this restaurant? I'm thinking not yet, because I don't have a lot of money. Yeah. So but I have been avoiding it and finding no, but, especially if I'm staying at it the It also has free samples. Yes. But if, it's, if I'm staying at the boarding Actually, if, house? It's, if it's been the course of a week, um, you have discovered that uh, north of town, there is, uh, along the river walkway, there's an area that's sort of graveled over that is known as the bazaar. And there's an office building in the, uh, in the corner of the lot. And uh, once a week, a uh, bunch of people who don't actually have stores will come and set up little kiosks to, to sell things. Um, and you have discovered that there are some people in the bazaar that are quite interested in acquiring um, interesting goods. Okay. Well, there's an entire restaurant full of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, if they come to the restaurant... I'm going to, of what I know of Miss, I'm going to try and look for her. All right, so you guys start looking around town. Well, I'm actually, I'm stuff. clapping around because yeah. I can. So you, you're split the you party? are flying. Well, uh, we're in town. While you're in town, yeah. Yeah. All right, so you. Does had... anyone want to go with gadget with to get her stuff, or does everyone stay? Because um. I'm doing the stuff. Era is flying. Um, I I'm like okay, so Era's gonna look for Miss, and everyone else comes with me. In three yeah. minutes. No, so. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go and get. Um, I'm gonna go inside the bakery and grab my stuff. So you're well, ready to start doing this. I'm going to you. All right. Okay, okay, so well, I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I'm telling this um, um, bad before. <laughs> then just wait at the left for me. I'll look for, I'll look for her myself. Okay. So you head back and uh, sort of gather up your stuff. Uh, yes. I have something to say. Yeah. Even I don't know how my mom literally bakes while teaching, like because. It's a lot of it's a lot of um, teaching by example, right? So mm. she's teaching both both cooking and a little bit of magic. Yeah. Right. So depending on depending on who's there and what they're interested in learning, she'll she'll teach different things. So so yeah. I'm now looking for this. Yeah. I'm going and getting my stuff. All right. Yeah. So going you to... are you're flying around town looking for mist. Roll me a perception check with advantage. I... She's a hat. Cause she's flying. Yeah. And, well, yeah. And, <laughs> and I, I can are love you her. wearing that? Sure. Why not? Okay. Yeah. And also, I'm an evil. I have good eyes. I am glad I got a baby. Eighteen. All right. It takes you about a half an hour, but you do spot a hat wandering down one of the streets. And we'll get to that in two seconds. All right. As you guys uh, get to the house, um, you you gather up all your stuff. And as you're getting ready to leave, right, your father comes and says, I have a thing. What is the thing? It's, it's a thing that I made. Um, and when we were at the restaurant the other day, I was working on it. And this strange, large lady said, oh, that looks really interesting. Can I see it? And the 
worked on it together. Oh. It's called the Barato Sprocket Locket. That sounds cool. Yeah, it's pretty neat. And he, he shows it to you. It's a, it's a locket, and when you pop it open, all that's inside is one big red button. What does it do? And on the side, there's a little key that you can wind. And he says, this might be helpful. What does it do? What happens if I click the button? It, it messes with time. <gasps> Oh, that was super cool. Oh, yeah, no. it's pretty handy. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, do you have Identify? I do. Aha. I study it for a whole ten minutes without <laughs> leaving and leave her. <laughs> and so you sort of, out of her mind. Yeah, so you, you watch as she gets this thing from her dad, and she just sits down <laughs> on the ground. And starts like looking at it. I, from I have like I, have, I put my goggles on my face and like start putting in there yeah. lenses. She starts sort of like tapping it and listening, and then at the end of ten minutes, you think that you've grasped what this thing does. Once per day, if it's wound in the morning, if you press the red button, you get an extra bonus action. Whoa! That's wind, helpful. Wind it, wind it. Yeah, wind it. Is the dog even wound? It's been wound for today. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm going to dive down with my talons and grab the hat. The <laughs> 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 captain's already gone. Is it I don't care. Is it I have rolled a natural 18 before I add anything. Yeah. But so you swoop down out oh, of the sky. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, that. that. Yeah. Dexterity? She should have this advantage because she doesn't know about the bird. She knows about the bird. She doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't know that I'm coming. You're in the sky. What did you roll for your... Um, I, I think this would be sleight of hand because you're trying to grab it without her noticing, right? Eight. <laughs> <laughs> so, being, being very cunning, you fly so that the sun is directly behind you so that she can't see you coming. And on the ground, you see this giant bird <laughs> shadow appear. And it's slowly shrinking. You're like, that thing's coming straight for me. And you do this tuck and roll to the side. And the bird goes... <laughs> no, I land. Yeah. Very next to it. No, I land. He's like... Hello. Hi, Era. How are you today? Good. Um, well, not really. Sorry not. She's uh, fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Um, come on, an adventure. An adventure. Fancy as you can Oh, and, well, um, free food. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, Jake's mom sort of chose that we were going adventure anyway. <laughs> okay. This is from Jake's mom. Wonderful. Am yeah. I going to see Jake again soon? Or is everyone yeah. getting together? Um, see, I told you we'd be good friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. Also. Anyway. We have to get flipped. Can I do my fly thing? You didn't again? even explain it. Yeah, you might want to explain it. Yeah, I'm explaining on. it as we. Okay. Or I'm going to do my fly thing again. <laughs> but, I'm going to try to do my fly thing again. Two! Without any, adding anything. Well, it's a strength check, so you, you don't yeah. get to add yeah. anything. <laughs> she's, she's heavier. I want to fly heavier. She definitely feels heavier. Maybe you just wore yourself out earlier. Yeah. <laughs> What's the weight? Uh, 120. I'm 140. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that 20 pounds is apparently the straw that broke the camel's back. All right, so you try. It doesn't work out. You guys end up wandering uh, to the lift. Yeah, I'm explaining it as we go. Awesome. Uh, you gather together at the lift, and... Um, it just, I, I threw my dice into the box and it rolled a natural one. <laughs> as you, uh, as you head together and, and start uh, heading out of town to, uh, to check out uh, the Night Shadow place, you do see that out in front of the town hall, there is a board with things posted on it. I'm going to look at the board! And also, um, also do you have... Wait, how, so it took me half an hour to find it. Yeah. yeah, so we're running a little late because we told everyone to meet in half hour. Maybe we should check out this board later. Well, these, you've gathered all together and you're headed oh, out of town. Oh, we're headed to... Okay. Yeah. I'm going to look at the board. There are two, uh, there are two things posted on the board. Um, really 
Dad. Yes. I'm gonna say to her, you should really try my mom's shoe. I will. I put it in my pocket here. See? Yeah, the bag. Um. But the bag really is a. But I'm not hungry at the moment. I'll save it for when we need it. What is in the bag? Uh, you you open the bag and it is a riot of color. Um, it's like, oh, yeah. that's a lot of yeah. color. There's there's a red oh, thing. Gosh. There's a blue thing. Is it is, is it rainbow? Um, the, yeah, it's it's set up in a rainbow. Um, awesome. It looks it looks like it would keep fairly well. Are there are, are, are there blue cookies? There are blue cookies. Yes, yes. 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 Percy Jackson reference. You. Um, I'll do, um, on top of it, um, a donut, well, two donuts, like, for the, um, for the clouds sprinkled in, um, there's everything. <laughs> there are sprinkled donuts in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, what she's, what she's trying to say is set up like a rainbow. Set up like a rainbow. Oh. Yeah, and, and the other interesting thing is the food isn't touching the sides of the bags. It's just sort of floating in the middle. All right, two quests. Uh, yes, there is a, a notice um, saying um, the uh, the stockyard requires assistance with a mysterious menace, and there is also a, a notification up mm -hmm. saying um, stalwart warriors sought for um, for the. Uh, Voluntary posse. What's posse mean? Uh, it's what you sort of law enforcement. Who do we have to talk to for, about the posse? Uh, that would be or uh, in the town hall. You, you'd have to go in the town hall. Okay. And then I also know that um, one of the riverfront buildings has a problem in the basement. Yep. Uh, and uh, there's, there's another notice in uh, that, that the, uh, the place where they're farming crops is having some issues as well. The mysterious menace and the um, so the, the livestock problem and the crop pro problem both offer payments of 25 gold. Let's find Nana's parents first, although she's not here. It doesn't hurt to know what else is available because yeah, well, well, we may end up, maybe they went one of these directions and we might need to, might find them on the way. On the way out of town, as you as you head towards the river walk. Weren't we going to Luna's house to look for like clues or whatever? Or we, or do Luna's we just house like, is way, way out, northeast, way out of town. Okay. Um, There's going to be a time where I'm going to get that. <laughs> I will get that. It, it's possible. <laughs> or you may give up because she looks darn good in it. Uh, you do walk past the house that you know that they're looking for help in. Alright. Do we want to As you walk past that house, we're going to call it. Okay. Because we've already lost two kids. Sounds good. <laughs> bye. 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 You can't see me. Bye. bye. <laughs>